Yep. Just the corners? Yeah, so I don't know. But it still covers the hammock. Yeah, yeah, it covers it. That's cool. Oh, and then you use that with the yeah, carabiner. Yeah, whoopee slings so then I don't have to fiddle around with knots and stuff. That's cool. And, and that's the blackbird. Yeah, the blackbird. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. These I just made, these are, uh, they call them triangle thingies. Yeah. That's what they do. Have you seen these? No. So what it does is it makes the suspension go more upward instead of out to here. Okay. So then it helps kind of keep it more snug right here. That's cool. So you don't get air coming in. So that's the suspension you were talking about? Yeah, so this is the thing that I fixed or that I, I, I kind of made this just yeah. to change the angle. Nice. I use welding so it doesn't like rub a hole in the mosquito netting. Nice. And then, uh, it's tight. Yeah. You it's got that in there. Bonnet, so. That's cool. Yeah, this is the hammock that everything wants to get. That's tight. Cool, man. And obviously we just hiked into the middle of nowhere. Like. All right, so we're making a, a snow deflector wall right here. And the snow deflector wall is supposed to bounce the heat back. We'll be sitting around here. So Wade, Aaron, and I, how do you feel? <laughs> we made this awesome deflector for the heat off of this area. And made some seats over there. Nice. So we'll be just sitting here later on when it gets cold and this wall should deflect the heat and it should stay cold enough so it doesn't melt that wall. And uh, yeah, we'll be enjoying the fire in a little bit. Good job, guys. <laughs> There's Aaron's pot right there. Heating stove. Should be cool. Nice. Then we lined up our snow wall with the wood that Wade sawed up and processed so that we can dry them up and then hopefully be able to use them in the fire later on. This is a lot, this is a good amount of wood. And then there's Aaron's supply ready for food. We lined the uh, our little seating area with 
secure emergency blankets so our pants don't get wet really. And I got my stuff right there. It's Wade's tent. And our our hammocks are down this way. We're about to cook up some lunch at late lunch at three. So this is it, we're all pretty much set. We got our, I'm gonna give a little final tour before we start the fire. We got our little lounge area. This is MTV Cribs Wilderness Edition. There's a little lounge area with the uh, emergency blanket. This is Arian's lounge area right here with all the supplies right here. And then we got, our snow wall to reflect the heat. And then Wade chopped down some of that wood and processed it ready for the fire. We're doing an upside down fire. And then he put the wet ones on the bottom. Eventually those will dry out, turn to coal. I think it's, I think it would be good. Yeah. Grilling some ribeyes. It's probably gonna burn on the outside, but it's gonna be really good. Alright. We saw each other as human beings, you know, and yeah. it's gonna be a lot slower to kill one another, to yeah. kill one another, to. Like they, they have to last for a long time. And I think it's because of the, maybe the wetness of it too, but. I'm guessing it didn't die too long ago, so it's like really dead. Yeah. So, uh, I ran off into the woods and found the longest stick I could and made like this four point spear. Yeah. But they were too far out for me to actually be able to, to hit them. And so then I tried like sneaking up on them. <laughs> like I got in the water and tried to creep up on them, but they would always see me and swim away. And so I ended up getting into this tree that like, Kind of went over the water. You never know, you know, where the fish are gonna swim, and then you see them kind of coming near your area, and so then my, your heart starts racing. You know, you're like, oh my gosh, they're coming, they're coming, they're. All right. So we're about to turn into bed. It's already pretty cold right now, as you can see. Kind of frozen over. Yep. And there it is. You can see how the crystallized frost reflecting the light off the hammock tarp. So it's gonna be pretty cold. 
There's the lake. Here it is. All right. So the hammock. Got my underquilt. Got my gloves right there, my hat. As you can see, it's pretty snug. Um, I got my thermal rest to cover my feet because I do have a uh, underquilt that covers partial. And it's supposed to be about 20 to mid 20s to low 20 degrees. It might be a little bit lower tonight, but we'll see. Um, so far right now, I feel a little warm, toasty. I don't feel anything cold underneath because of the wonder quilt. Um, so we'll see how it turns out tomorrow morning. Uh, it should be pretty cold tonight. And as you can tell, it's pretty snowy out. Not sure if there's going to be a blizzard, but we'll find out tomorrow morning. All right, good night, y'all. This is the campsite in the morning after some snow. We still have our wall over here for the reflector, but as you can see it's all covered. Now we're gonna probably just pack up, get our stuff together, and then hike back to the trail hut. It's probably gonna be a little strange because of all the snow, but it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> we had almost stepped into this water. The lake is uh, kind of frozen, but it's still it's not as sturdy.